Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn for Excellence. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to divide 1 with the numbers whose denominator ending with 9. Yes, my dear friends, as shown the screen, I am going to show you how to divide 1 with any number ending with 9 more accurate than calculator. Yes, my dear friends, if you are talking about any normal calculator or any scientific calculator, it may show you digits up to 8 digits or maximum of 10 digits. But in this video, I am going to show you how to take the value up to 10 digits, 15 digits or up to infinite values. In this video, we are going to use one Vedic process that is nothing but Ekadikena Purvena. Ekadikena Purvena says one more than the previous one. Yes, my dear friends, it says one more than the previous one. So if you divide one with any other number ending with nine, just follow this Ekadikena Purvena method. You can solve it very fast and very accurate. So if you want to solve these kind of problems, just have a look at the video till the end. So we'll look at the example. Now look at this number. Here I have taken the number 1 divided by A9. This A is nothing but any natural number. It may be 1, it may be 2, it may be 3 and it goes on. Here for this A9, 1 more than the previous one is nothing but 1 divided by A plus 1. So instead of taking 1 by 19, we are going to take 1 divided by A plus 1. Look here, I'll show you one example. Here if they are going to say 1 divided by 19, let us assume the given example is 1 divided by 19. So we are going to look at the previous number one more than the previous one it says ekhadikena purvena which is the previous number previous number is one over here so what is this one more than the previous number one more than one is nothing but one plus one which is equal to two so instead of dividing one by 19 what we have to divide is one divided by this a plus one that is nothing but two it is very simple right dividing 1 by 19 is very very complex when compared to divide by uh, dividing by 1 by 2 yes my dear friends i'll show you how to divide 1 by 19 1 by 29 or any kind of vulgar fractions very easily with the help of this ekadikena purvena process we'll have a look at it now look here in this example i have taken the number 1 by 19 right so 1 by 19 for 19 the previous number is 1 so if you're talking about one more than the previous number that is nothing but 1 plus 1 that is nothing but 2 so what we have to do is we have to take one more for the number which is previous to 9 that is nothing but 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 now what we have to do is we have to divide 1 with respect to 2 now what we have to do is we have to divide 1 with respect to 2 1 is the numerator let it be as it is so we'll write 1 and this denominator we are going to replace this 19 with a plus 1 that is nothing but 1 plus 1 that is nothing but 2 so we'll divide 1 with 2 what we are going to get it here so if you are going to divide 1 by 2 we'll get quotient as 0 because 2 is greater than 1 so quotient will be 0 whatever the remainder remainder will be 1 now we have to write this number in some particular format i'll show you how to write it look at this particular number over here here first we'll write 0 point, 0 point after that what we have got we have got the quotient as 0 write the quotient as a bigger number and the remainder as a smaller number then what we have to write we have to write the quotient as the bigger number this is a quotient quotient is zero that is the actual number so we'll write it very big and remainder is just temporary number so we'll write it over here got it now after this after getting this first digit what is the number is uh, next number which you are going to divide is not 1 by 2 it will be 10 divided by 2 now you may have doubt how we got this number 10 divided by 2 yes my dear friends initially we had 1 divided by 2 now look at this number here the number which we have written previously is nothing but 10 here 
that is nothing but 1 is over here and 0 is over here so 10 so we have to divide this 10 by 2 so while dividing 10 by 2 what is the number we are going to write it we are going to get we will get 5 as the quotient and remainder is 0 so what about this quotient quotient should be a bigger number so we have to write the quotient bigger number 5 over here and what about the remainder remainder should be 0 it should be in smaller values so we'll look at it here so we'll get this 0 and 5 next after this after getting the number 10 divided by 2 next number will be 0 and 5 that is nothing but we have to divide 5 by 2 now while dividing 5 by 2 what we are going to get here is 5 by 2 so we'll get the quotient as 2 2 2 times is 4 and the remainder is 1 so how it we can write this we'll write 2 as a bigger number and 1 as a smaller number so i'll rewrite it over here so it will be in this format so next number will be the first number was 10 divided by 2 second number was 5 divided by 2 third was 12 divided by 2 so now you might be getting the format right so i'll do it a little bit faster now look here the number is 12 over here so 12 divided by 2 is nothing but 6 which is written over here and the 6 is the number and 0 is the remainder so we'll write this 6 and 0 in this format 6 is the quotient we'll write it bigger and 0 is the remainder we'll write it here so what about the next number yeah just guess it out yes you are right it is nothing but 6 so next we have to divide is 6 divided by 2 so 6 divided by 2 quotient will be 3 and remainder will be 0 so we'll write the quotient 3 as bigger number and remainder 3 uh, 0 as the smaller number Yes, after 6, what we have to do? We have to divide 3 by 2. So 3 by 2, quotient is 1, remainder is 1. So we'll get 1 and 1. Next is 11. Now look here. Here we have 1 quotient and 1 remainder. That is nothing but 11. We are going to consider this number as 11 here. So 11 will get quotient as 11 by 2. We'll get quotient as 5 and remainder as 1. So I'll write it as 1 and 5, 15 over here. We can write it as 15 over here. Now divide this 15 divided by 2. 15 divided by 2 will get the quotient as 7 and remainder as 1. So I'll write it as 1 and 7. Next process will be 17 divided by 2. What is 17 divided by 2? Yes, 2, 8 times 16 and 1 is the remainder. So we'll get 1 and 8. So next number will be 18 here. Next number is 18. So 18 divided by 2 gives 9 and 0 and what about this one 9 and 0 next number we whatever we are going to divide is the next number which we are going to divide is 9 by 2 so that is nothing but we'll get 4 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder so i'll write it here similarly continue the process for 14 we can write 7 is the quotient and 0 is the remainder right next one for 7, we can write 3 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. So I can write it as 1, 3. For 13, we can write 6 is the quotient. 13 by 2 is 6 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. I can write it as 1, 6. For 16, I can write 8 is the quotient and 0 is the remainder. Similarly, for 8, I can write 4 is the quotient and 0 is the remainder. Because 2, 4 times is 8, there is no remainder. Similarly, for 4, I can write 2 is the quotient, 4 by 2 is 2 is the quotient, and remainder is 0. And for 2, if you are going to divide 2 by 2, we'll get quotient as 1 and remainder as 0. When the number, whenever we get the number which ends with 0 and 1, 0 and 1, it means the numbers are going to repeat over here now here you may be having doubt after writing how many digits after writing how many digits the number may repeat look here we have written one two three four five we have written 18 digits over here till here there are 18 digits so now look here after how many digits the number will repeat now look at this number again here we have 19 and what is the numerator numerator is 1 just subtract 19 with 1 
that is nothing but 18 it means after 18 digits it means after 18 digits the number will start repeating so if you're talking about after one so you will get it as like zero five two six three one again and again so what is the answer for 1 by 19 yes my dear friends it is very easy 1 by 19 is nothing but 0 0.0526315767 8, 9, 4, 7, 3, 6, 8, 4, 2, 1. And again it starts as 0, 5, 2, 6, 3, 1, dot, dot, dot. It goes on. Now look here. Here we started writing the digit faster after writing 18 digits. That is nothing but after completing the process. In the next example, I will tell you how to do it faster or how do we get to know when the process is half complete. So for that thing, just look at the next example and tell you how to do it very faster after the half process. Now we'll look at the next example 1 by 29. Now in the previous example, I have told you how do we get to know whether the process is half completed, right? Now look here. So here we have the number 29. Here we have the number 29. Right. What is this Ekadikena Purvena says? It says one more than the previous one. That is nothing but two plus one that is three. So what we have to do instead of dividing one by twenty-nine, we have to divide one by three. And the process has to be continued. So if we are going to divide one by three and further the quotient and the remainder will get the actual answers. Right now in the previous example, I have told you how to determine when the process is half complete. The process will be half completed when we are going to get the number one less than this. That is nothing but 29 minus one. That is nothing but 28. How do we get 28? We'll get 28 in this format. Quotient as eight and remainder as two. Whenever we are going to get this 28, in the middle of the problem it means we are at the half of the we are at the half of the solution after getting that it is very simple to write the answer just look at this example now look at this one by three before that i'll start writing zero point okay what is one by three quotient is zero and what about remainder remainder is one so i'll write zero over here and remainder is one now what is this number this is 10. So what we have to do? We have to divide 10 by 3. What is the remainder here? Quotient is 3. 3, 3 times 9. Remainder is again 1. So what I have to write? 3 and 1. Just keep on, keep an eye for this number 28. Okay. So now look here. The number is 13. So if you are going to divide 13 by 3, what is the quotient? We are going to get quotient as 3, 4 times 12. The remainder is 1 so it is nothing but 1 and 4 what is the next number 14 so we have to divide 14 by 3 what is the quotient when 14 divided by 3 quotient will be 3 4 times is 12 what about the remainder the remainder is 2 so what we have to write we have to write the quotient in a bigger letter and remainder in a smaller one so next is 24 so what is this 24 divided by 2 24 divided by 3 3 8 times is 24 right 3 8 times 24 whatever remainder remainder is 0 3 8 times is 24 and remainder is 0 so we have to write 0 and 8 now look here the number is 0 8 but what we have to get we have to get the number 2 8 2 and 8 it means if we get the number 26 2 more than 8 is nothing but 26 so we'll check it out so next is 8 so we'll divide 8 by 3 how to get the number 8 by 3 3 2 times 6 so quotient is 2 what about the remainder the remainder is also 2 so i'll write it here 2 is a smaller one and 2 is a bigger one next what is it it is 22 so 22 divided by 3 3 1 times 3 7 times so quotient is 7 remainder is 1 so I'll write 1 is over here and 7 is over here. 
next 17 divided by 3 17 by 3 what is the quotient yes 3 5 times 15 what is what the remainder remainder is 2 so I'll write 2 as the remainder 5 as the quotient next we have to take 25 25 by 3 what is the quotient 3 8 times what about the remainder 3 8 times is 24 remainder is 1 so the answer is 1 and 8 look at this number we have got 1 and 8 what do you have to get you have to get 28 as a number after that we'll get to know it has been half completed how we have got 28 28 is nothing but one less than this particular denominator now we'll continue the process 18 by 3 what is 18 by 3 quotient is 6 and remainder is 0 so I'll write 0 and 6 and what about this 6 6 by 3 what is the number 3 2 times 6 what about the remainder remainder is 0 next 2 by 3 what about 2 by 3 0 is the quotient and 2 is the remainder now what is this number 20 20 by 3 3 6 times 18 what about the remainder 2 next what about this 26 26 divided by 3 3 8 times is the quotient and remainder is 2 so I'll write 8 over here and 2 now look at this number what is this number is it 28 which is less one less than this 29 yes now this number says the process is half completed this number says that the process is half completed if the process is half completed how to do it for the next one if the process is half completed how to do it faster now now after completing this process after completing half of the process next number will be now look here here we have zero the next number will be complement of zero what is it the next number will be nine after half completing the process the next number will be complement from the starting number Com complement from the starting number if the f what is the meaning of complement if the number is zero its complement should be nine or we can say the sum should make 9 now if this number is 3 the next number should be 6 because 3 plus 6 gives 9 if this number is 4 the next number should be 5 because 4 plus 5 gives 9 next if this is 4 again this should be 5 if this is 8 it should give 1 if this is 2 2 plus 7 gives 9 if this is 7 it is 2 similarly we can continue n number of times so this is how we can calculate the value of 1 by any number which ends with 9. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.